They say money Peter before evil. Just let my coin shop with a pocket of silver eagles. Silver won't make you rich. Silver is what makes you rich. This is true wealth. See this? That's nothing. That $5,000 can only get you about these three gold coins. That $5,000 in 10 years will be worth as much as who knows, but I can guarantee these three gold coins will still be able to buy you the same amount of value as today. Did you know a walking Liberty half dollar back in the day could get you a gallon of gas, 50 cents? Get you a gallon of gas. That same walking Liberty half dollar can get you a gallon of gas today. 50 cents can't get you a gallon of gas, but you could take that walking Liberty half dollar down to your local coin shop, sell it for $10, and get yourself a couple gallons of gas. See, that same exact coin can get you back in the day what it can today because silver is timeless. And that's why the government doesn't want you to own it. If you can't hold it, you don't own it. Silver stackers always get the last laugh. Some of these coins are worth way more than others. Like these generics and some of these rounds compared to a coin that's worth well over $200 compared to a coin that's worth over $2,000 compared to a kilo bar, which is 32 ounces or a 10 ounce bar or the Lunar Series too. There's no wrong way to stack as long as you're stacking. And that's the truth, folks. There's no wrong way to buy, but there are wrong ways to sell. I'm sorry if my voice is a little messed up. I just had major surgery on my teeth four days ago. So it's gonna take a while to get used to talking again, but if you've known, I love slab coins. And by the way, this is the Silver Manifesto. David Morgan, one of my idols, sent this to me. I interviewed him on my channel. But if you guys don't know, I love slabbed coins. And this is what you do with them. You get a holder like this. Pop them bad boys in like that, and there you go. We also have a magnet test to make sure your silver is real. Let's use um, let's use this Britannia for example. Oh, sorry. It's... See how it didn't slide right off. That means it's real. You can also do the ping test. You can get a scale. But me personally, I like the nicer stuff. I like the pandas. I like the graded coins. The 2021 Morgan MS70 released the first year they brought it back in a hundred years 
because they stopped making these in 1921. And they actually banned them the next year, so it makes this coin even more rare. That's how you learn how to find a diamond in a rough. This coin will be very valuable in a couple of years. Another prime example of a coin that will do very, very well, already has. PF70 Ultra Cameo Moon Festival Panda 2016 version. Most beautiful coin in the world, in my opinion. Only made, I think, like 1900. But even less are PF70 Ultra Cameo. Perfect condition. Another coin, which this coin is very rare and I got very lucky is the dragon and phoenix but if you see right there it says mirrored gap that means behind the phoenix's head there's supposed to be a matte finish but there's a mirrored finish there's not supposed to be and the person mint didn't want to admit the mistake so they denied it but then they came out and said yes it was a mistake I got the original version because Perth Mint is from Australia. I buy from Modern Coin Mart, which is in Florida, so they got the first shipment in. So when I bought that coin from Modern Coin Mart, I got the first shipment, which had the mistakes in them. So that's just dumb luck for you. Let's look at some of these other beautiful coins. Let's look at some of these tubes I love tubes of eagles maples come with 25 coins I think these are uh, Britannia's we also have some uh, um, kangaroos in here as well I love my pandas though I also love coins like this, like the Rabbit, the Lunar Series. Lunar Series 2 is by far my favorite series. As you can see, I want to collect every year. I have the Snake. I have the Dragon, which is highly sought after. I have the Monkey. I have the Ox. I have the Chicken. 2017 chicken I have the dog which is 2014 if I'm not mistaken uh, 2018 I have the snake I have another snake and I have the dragon I think I have another one as well excuse my voice it's very hard to talk I hope my voice isn't turning away anyone from the video. We also have the M the, the Rwanda series rooster. It, looks, it just looks so wicked. Love this coin. Then we have the tiger version of the Rwanda. And we have the pig version of the Rwanda. But if you wanted to maybe uh, see some coins that a beginner would want to buy, I would recommend generics. Coins like this. Coins that you can touch with your bare hands. You don't need capsules. You don't need capsules. You want to know why? Because these coins are sold for the one ounce inside of it. Not how pretty it looks. Not how fancy it is. This is sold for silver. A lot of these coins are, even that are in capsules. For example, this Britannia isn't a capsule, but I guarantee when I sell it, the guy's not going to care if it's in a capsule or not. He's going to be trying to find silver. 
Now, when it comes to a kookaburra, if I'm looking for the right seller, then yes, I might be able to find someone to get the premium back. But that's only if I'm selling to the right person. You see the Silver Slayer bar? This is the first edition. One out of a hundred were made. So if someone knows Silver Slayer, then you could upcharge the price. I've seen that happen on eBay, believe it or not. This is the second edition Silver Slayer bar, mintage of 200, I think 250. And um, if you can get your hands on one of these, I'm sure you can upsell it. This is the prototype of the Slayer Hexagon, which turned into this one. Just a little backstory. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of this stuff is just coins that I see potential in or that I like. There's a saying, if you buy what you like, you'll never make a bad purchase. And like I always say, you can't buy wrong. There's no wrong way to buy. But there are wrong ways to sell. So make sure if you're someone who's thinking about selling someday, make sure you watch one of my videos on how to sell. Because I guarantee if I would have watched a video that uh, of me explaining how to sell, I would have saved myself a lot of money because I know a lot of tricks now that would have saved and has saved a lot of people a lot of money. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Sorry for my voice. Hopefully, uh, I'll be back soon. Wish me luck. Hopefully, you were able to pull through and listen to me talk this long. I probably shouldn't be talking this long, so I'm going to, uh, you know, get the ice on and uh, do what the doctor said. So anyway, thanks, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure if you want to buy some silver, send an email to info at milesfranklin.com. Andy Sheckman is the CEO. He will hook you up with this shiny stuff. Best deals around. Let him know Slayer sent you. He'd love to hear it. Also, make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.